Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ole Borger and in this episode I wanted to show you how I built this house for playing Dungeons and Dragons and other role-playing games. It's a modular house and it's fully playable. This is part one of this build and in part two we will do all the interior but first we just need to build a house. So let's get started. Well, this video started out great. I lost the first half hour of footage because I forgot to press record. But while we at it, I'm uh, building this bottom plate for the house. It's made out of 10 millimeter foam in the bottom and a five millimeter sheet of uh, the top and just glued together. Uh, the bottom plate is nine by 12 inches and the top plate is seven by nine inches. I used a molding tool to make up the surface look like wood and a steel brush to make this small wood like. And I will finish it up with using the black magic mud podge. But first I will have to finish up the bottom plate to match my dungeon tiles. You can see the video up in the right corner. There's also made holes ready for magnets. To make the walls in the bottom, I've cut up some foam board, it's five millimeters thick, and some windows and doors. And as you can see here, I already put on some five by three millimeter wood, which is going to match the thickness of the bricks and stones I'm going to put on outside the wall. I had an idea of how to make the windows. I used the same three by five millimeter wood for the doors, and I cut up a ton of pieces to make a window and put it together. I tried to fill it up with resin with a piece of sandwich paper on the bottom and it worked out pretty okay. But it, as it turned out, when I hit it with the UV light, it made a ton of bubbles and it didn't work well. I decided to make a new approach and using this printable transparent film and super glue all the uh, pieces of wood to it. And then I put in some UV resin and trimmed off all the edges of the film. And then I hit it with the UV light from the bottom. And that actually worked so there was no bubbles at all. Some more trimming. And this was just as I wanted it to be. Perfect windows. Now we just have to make five more of those. All windows are glued in and I put in some bits of wood to emulate uh, some beams across the building. I made the second floor look like the bottom floor. And now it's time to make some more woodwork. This is a five by five millimeter piece of wood. And we are going to build the second floor on top of these beams. I made the walls for the second floor three inches high and covered them in the three by five millimeter wood pieces I had to make the half timber. I also decided that I would leave the walls as is while I was painting them and then put them together later. They should be easier to paint that way. Here I just put them together with some tags. Uh, they are not yet glued together, so I could take them apart and make them. Here we see the roof. I also cut that out of a 5mm foam board and started to put some half timber on it. This is the same three by five millimeter and five by five on the top. And now to cut some bricks. 
And we need a lot of those. I also cut some L-shaped stone pieces for the cornerstones on the building. So it will look like a big brick. I put all the brick pieces in this uh, cup with uh, some chopped up printed pieces. And then I shake it a lot. And as you can see, we have a nice rock-like structure on these stones. I must say, I really enjoyed putting in the, these bricks. It was very satisfying to see how the work turned out to be. And I think I spent about three hours to put all these bricks in place and cut them in shape and all that stuff. And I really enjoyed it. I started to make the roof shingles out of some three millimeter XPS foam by roughing it up with my steel brush so it got some kind of texture, wood grain or whatever it is. And I made this uh, template out of 3mm MDF on my uh, bandsaw. Even though I had this template, it took forever to cut these roof shingles. But I actually had some fun doing it. So it wasn't the worst thing to do. I also 3D printed some windows and put them in. I finished up the woodwork and here you can see the roof. I think it turned out pretty good. I started to paint the walls for the second floor and I used this dry ground diorama from AK. Uh, it has a very good structure to look like stucco. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm looking forward to see it when it dries. Here you can see, very nice structure. A bit of highlight and maybe another cover of it and some dry brush. I think it's gonna be so cool. I also painted the half timber with some raw sienna. Just as a base coat, I will uh, put some wash on it later. Now it's time to mud potch things up. Thank you for Black Magic for sharing the recipe of this. It's going to give the foam a very good structure and very sturdy uh, surface. And it's very easy to paint on. I really love this stuff. I also hit all the things that sh should look like wood with a light tan from my airbrush. I also used the same tan color with my dry brush on the stonework for the first floor. Now I will use my homemade wash. It's just some black paint and brown paint with a drop of dish soap mixed with some water. And I just covered everything in it. And of course the roof should also have some mud potch on it. So far so good. Now I uh, just need to put some more stucco or dry ground on the top floor. And some raw sienna for the wood. Oops, I did it again. Yeah, I forgot to press record. I used some Bordeaux color for the roof and then I dry brushed it with some of my tan color. And I actually also gave it a wash. I also painted all the wood pieces on the first floor with the raw sienna.
and everything got a nice and healthy wash. I think it's so satisfying putting a wash on the stuff you just painted and see how it turns out. It's like your paint job is getting some kind of life or something. I also painted some of the bricks with a Bordeaux red from the roof and a heavier yellow and some light green. And a dark wash on top of that as well. Wow, will you look at that? I'm looking so much forward to this dress up. I started to put in some of the 3D printed windows. I will uh, leave a link in the description below to the STL file. I started to hit the stack hole with a dry brush. Uh, it was uh, still the same light tan color I used before. I was actually not quite satisfied with the raw sienna look. I thought it was too orange and the wash didn't work out so well. So I painted it with a chocolate brown instead and it turned out awesome. I also wanted a moss effect, so I put this PVA glue in a cup and mixed it up with a tuft and some paint. It was a bit hard to make it stick, so I had to use my finger and press it on and the brush and it was a bit messy, but in the end, it turned out well. And in part two, we're going to make some doors. So far, so good. This is how it turned out. You can see I can take up the top floor and we have a playable surface here and the second floor. I don't want to do anything about the interior on the inner walls, but we are going to make some walls here to make it more playable. And in the bottom, we also have a playable area. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate it a lot. And if you don't mind, I would like you to like and subscribe my channel. It will really be a big support for me. And this was part one. Uh, in next episode, we're going to look at how I'm going to build the interior. It's actually not built yet, but let's see how it goes. And I hopefully see you next time. So, see you around. Bye for now.